Hello everyone, thank you for joining today's session. Today's video is all about pivot table. I will show you how to use pivot table, how to set up a spreadsheet, how to drag data from one to another, how to build the graph and chart from that. And it will be a very short interactive video where I will actually show you a couple of examples what the best way to do it. And you will learn through the, the example. I'm not sure if I have, any one of you have used the pivot table before, but it's a very, very powerful tool. Whatever you do on a, an hour by using pivot table, you can do that job and complete that task in, in less than a minute or so. So I will show you all the tips and tricks, how to use it the most efficient way, how to save the time. So it's going to be a very short, fun and informative session. So kick back, relax, get pen and paper ready and enjoy the video. So one more thing that I will show you in this video is, or maybe I'll make a new video for that. I will show you how to get a job by using this pivot table skills and Excel skill. Uh, there are thousands of jobs available. I will make a, a small comprehensive video to explain where those jobs are, what are the website that you need to look for it, how to apply for it, and what do you need to do to make your chance or make your profile stand out. So just one request, please subscribe, like, share. Okay, let's get it started. So regardless of what version of Excel you're using, this video is what you need to get started using Excel. For this example or for this uh, video, I will be using Microsoft 365. You can use any version you have and it will work just like, oh, okay, perfectly fine. So let's start with example number one, right? Okay, this is the spreadsheet that I have. Let's assume this is a spreadsheet that HR department have. They have the list of the employee who work there, what their job title is, what department they work on, what the business unit they work on, the gender they have, ethnicity, age, date they were hired, their salary they make, country and city. So let's suppose the HR department sent you a spreadsheet and they want you to tell them how many employees work in each department. Right? If you look at that, all this, uh, how many employees work in each department. So if they ask you, you know, most of you would what you will do is if you don't know how to do pivot you're going to go do the, the data filter and, and and you're going to go say okay you know how many people work in each department you have to do one by one one by one one by one and that is going to take forever to do it with excel pivot technique what you can do is all you have to do is okay just click here or anywhere as a matter of fact on the spreadsheet and go insert pivot table it will open up a new page for you and this is how this pivot table is going to look like so remember when i review the spreadsheet the first row has all those things right? they, they have the the name title department business unit gender, ethnicity, all those. Now, the question that, uh, let's suppose the HR manager asks, you are work for HR and the manager asks you, okay, tell me how many employees work in each department. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, okay, here's the department, you go to row, right? I mean, it's okay. You see, you see, you see all the department, let me make it little bit bigger so actually you, you, you can, you can see. So. So this is all the different department there is. Now how many people work for you? So see, each one of them has a single name, right? So if you go take the full name, 
say how many, right? The value of this. So now look, see that there's 1,000 employee for this company and this many work in a different department. Uh, instead of doing that, why don't you just do this, sort it out. So, that, so you go, okay, you go largest first, largest, okay. So 241 IT, 158 engineering, and so on, so on, so on, right? Now the second question the manager could ask, okay, tell me how many are male, how many are female, right? What the gender is? You go over here, you go like this. Voila, right? So, out of 1,000 employees, you have 518 that's female, 482 that is male, and this is how the, the distribution looks like. You see how it is? Well, if you're going to go do the filter, sort through the, the spreadsheet, that's going to take you for hours to, to do that. Now, the second question they can ask me, okay, tell me how which country has how many employees, right? So if you look at, so this is country, right? You can say, okay, you take this, let's say this country, or let's just take out the department out here, yeah. Okay, so Brazil has 139 employees, China has 218, US, and this is the distribution. So see how easy it is just once you create a table, you can just drag it and you can get whatever you want. You can slice it and dash it any way you want it. Now, okay, let's suppose they ask one more question. Okay, what the ethnicity is, right? So you just go, go over here, right? Okay. So you see which country has how many? If you want to change it over here, you can just move it around. You see how this thing move around? So let's go do this, right? No. Now let's suppose, so this was actually the example number one, right? I mean, so now if you want to make a bar a graph of that, you just go insert. Uh, you just go to look at chat. See, see, you see, okay? You can just put a title title over there. You know, like what? Employ. Actually, okay, you just say, okay, employ. Number of the employ and country right whatever I mean see you you can put whatever you want to this is what I came up with okay employ with country and that's that's it right I mean say uh you know I make a I make a tap where you you can just change <coughs> EMPL OY uh -huh. Employing, I mean, you, you can do whatever you want. I mean, see. So this, this is, you, you see that this is, this is, this is how you do the, the graph. You can actually make it big, small, whichever way you can just drag it. So now you can see how easy it is to do the, the pivot table, drag it. You can slice it, dice it any way you want, right? This is the example number one. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the first example. So let's take one more example that will um, help you understand it better. Now, this is a sales record of eBay, right? I mean, it's okay. This is the, the date. If you look at the, the date, this is the month. And these are the items that have been sold. And this is the city where the buyers belong to. This is the state and the quantity sold and the sales price. So I have actually deleted some of the columns. So maintain the privacy of the employees. So all the name, nothing is in here. So, so the question, let's take an example. Now, if you want to do the pivot table for that, let's insert pivot table. And here you go, voila, you got it. Now the question number one is, which state has the highest sale right? I mean, okay, let's say, okay, these are all the states we have. No sales price this. So we want to know which state, let's make it little bit big, 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 big. 
So let's take example see which state has the most so actually cell. So California number one, Florida number two, New York, Texas. This is how the sales look like. Now I'd like to know okay, which item has the highest sales by dollar value. So, so I'm not worried about the state. Let's take an example. I want to know. Okay, just remove this. Which item has the most sale, right? If you look at that, you can sort it out. You know, sort by value, largest to small. So you see which uh, item sells the most. One more thing I want to know as well. This is the dollar value, but how many of those we sold? So let's to say what the quantity was. So here it is. See this? So now if you like to move it around, you want the quantity first, sale first, so you just move it around, make it like this. Let's change it over here. So this is as easy as just one, two, three. You just go insert, pivot table, a table shows up. You drag it from here, there, any way you want to. It's as simple. And I hope these two examples have been good enough to understand it. If you still have a question, comment, so please put it in the comment section. I will read every single one of them and I will respond to that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So please share, like, comments. Thank you.